you're going in, you know, uh, in a game like this. I'm talking to Billy Bean, who's in baseball. Okay, this Billy Bean is, you know, who Billy Bean Moneyball. is. Moneyball. Moneyball, right? So I'm asking him, so listen, when you're recruiting and you're looking for these next superstars, what are some things you look at? He says, one is obviously the real talent. The other one is the guy's work ethic. The other one is their upbringing, family roots. And then, you know, uh, there was one other thing that he said uh, that he added to it. It was one of the four things. And I said, what's the most important thing? And he kind of broke it down. We went through it because, you know, on-base percentage, what's the most important thing when recruiting people? In your world, if you were to say to make it in Hollywood as competitive as it is, as, you know, it's a very sensitive, it's artists competing sensitivity, you got this person, how come I didn't get that job, this person didn't get that job, then they're going to remember you took that role away from me, they're going to talk behind your back because you like, I, I can only imagine how competitive this business can be. It's what are, vicious. What are some qualities you need to be able to make it for all these years? Well, let me start by saying, you know, I have a, a daughter that's 15 months old and, and, you know, my girlfriend and I joke around about the acting thing and, and I literally say it's never going to happen. Until she's 18, she makes that decision, but uh, as a child actor, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Now, I was fortunate enough to wear, I, I don't know how, but it is, it is dangerous. And, and, and the social media component that exists now that didn't exist 10 years ago, or even when, you know, Entourage was, social media was just becoming a thing, but I think that adds a degree of, of uh, danger, you know, for, for young people. Um, it's just, I, I look at how uh, Justin Bieber and how, what some of these people's lives must be like trying to navigate that world of just going to the grocery store. And, and, and you know, social media has complicated it a lot. Um, I know that Hollywood has, has come a long way in, in protecting uh, kids on set. I know last night, for example, we were, you know, again, it's late, and um, there was a young actress on set, and at the, at the minute, it was like the referee stepped in, and this is this is a big, it's a big production. And this woman comes in and psh, like that, she was just gone, we yanked her. Not one more take, not anything. Just whoop, that's it. Time's up. So the laws are, of protecting the kids have have come a long way. They're, so they made a lot of progress on that. Today. Oh my goodness! Okay. I was last night. I was like, whoa, that kid just got snatched off the set. Crazy. You know, it, back you know back in the day, they would be like, all right, well, you know, we'll give you. Just speed it along. We'll give you 10 more minutes. Now it's like, whew, lights out. But, but I guess more my question is, okay, so longevity. Is it biz dev, meaning relationship? Is it shaking hands? Is it choosing the right support team? Is it constantly being a student, going to, I don't know, Aaron Spicer? You're constantly taking different acting classes, learning different styles. Is it, you know, a person that sets the ego aside? Is it somebody that knows how to manage their egos? Is it... What are some things like you? I mean, you, you're great friends with Leo. You've done stuff with you and Toby. Leo, there's a bunch of history with what you guys have done. Right. There is, there's a, not many people you haven't worked with. You work with a lot of people in the right. industry. You've been around. The other night, we're having dinner. I don't know where we were having dinner. We're having dinner at uh, Catch Steak. Catch, yeah, that's good. phenomenal food, by the way. Great, Blown great away. Steak, yeah. We're just sitting there having dinner, and all of a sudden, Jamie Foxx shows up. Jamie comes up to our table. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Blah, 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 blah. Jamie sits right behind us. Everybody knows who you are. You're in a world with a lot of folks that the, the, the rest of the world watches, and I cannot believe this guy's in it. What are some things that allow you to be staying relevant for three, four decades in the industry? Um, yeah, I mean, listen, the, the one thing about the entertainment industry that it, it's 99%, maybe more, rejection, right? So usually the answer is no, right? If the odds of an actor getting a role are very, are very slim, so once you sort of toughen up to it, I think it sort of spills out into other parts of your personality, right? Where, you know, um, like, I, you know, we, we, we never needed participation trophies, like, as a kid, right? Like, yeah, you finished in fifth place. Like, what do you want me to say? You <laughs> <laughs> I, it never bothered me. I was like, oh, I, I didn't get four auditions this week. They got mad that we finished fifth place in field day? Who cares? Um, but uh, you do, you, you, you kind of you you toughen up to it. Um, and again, I, you know, I've always, for me, and I don't want to say, it's not necessarily stalled, but whenever there would be, I, would, I, would, I was always quick to pivot, right? So if something was going on and, and acting was a little slow, I would say, hey, let's go make a short film. 
you know, I'll direct it, you write it, or this, all right, I'll act in it, you produce it, you just would always keep it moving. And then, then all of a sudden, once you turn down this road, the other people, you know, the other, then the acting jobs come yep. back. So yep. it's really just, for me, it's always just like staying active and, and keeping it moving and, and just trying to figure out a way to, to, to compete, you know, which we're talking about like the podcast space and, and which is, you know, what I've gotten into over the last couple of years. Hollywood is, there are just so many gorillas, right, to, to compete with some of these st studios. I mean, it's impossible. I mean, if, you know, any good book or, it, it's sold before it's a book, right? If you pick up a book in the bookstore, you're like, wow, this is amazing. Mm. That book's long gone, mm -hmm. right? It was sold when it was a manuscript, right? So the, one of the things that I've had the idea about podcasting is, hey, this is a way that I can create IP, and, and have ownership of, of my own stuff and not have to compete with, with you know, the big studios that have like Deepak.